Once again, Nintendo has taken Luigi, a character whose defining trait is that he's terrified of ghosts, and shoved him against his will into a spooky building absolutely full of the things in Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> Having played and seen plenty of the game at E3 2019, we're pleased to report that Luigi's Mansion 3 will offer plenty of fun new features. Features that have terrifying implications for Luigi and the wider Mario universe. Hold on tight to your sanity as we present, with shaking hands and a lightly trembling voice, seven unnerving implications of Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi may be fighting his way through dimly lit rooms packed with supernatural horrors, but he can take comfort in knowing that he doesn't have to do so alone. Assuming, that is, he can draw comfort from an expressionless, gelatinous version of himself called Gooigi. <laughs> Unlike Luigi, Gooigi longs for death and has no trouble striding deliberately through spikes or into cages, which means he'll come in super handy for solving puzzles. Assuming, that is, you can stop yourself thinking about what it means that a living goo version of Luigi is now a thing. In fact, this isn't the first time we've seen this rubbery doppelganger. Gooigi was first sighted in the 3DS version of the original Luigi's Mansion in late 2018, as a co-op partner in the game's multiplayer mode. <laughs> now, however, Gooigi is back in alarming HD for his console debut, which means we can't sleep for wondering whether Luigi's partner is a mindless gummy automaton who can't go near water, or whether Gooigi has a mind of its own. Consider, for instance, troubling excerpts taken from series regular Professor E. Gad's journal. His writings reveal that goo, created when liquid extracted from ghosts was erroneously mixed with coffee, does indeed behave intelligently. And I'm just saying, if Gooigi is smart enough to replicate Luigi and use all his moves, we suspect it is also advanced enough to resent humans for the battery of cruel tests its creator submitted it to. Best watch your back, Luigi. On the other hand, and at the risk of overthinking this, there is some evidence that rather than having a consciousness of its own, Gooigi hijacks Luigi's brain when summoned. Observe how Luigi slumps over when Gooigi emerges from the Poltergust G00. Indeed, while Gooigi is active, at least when playing in single player mode, Luigi becomes eerily unresponsive, even to having his moustache and eyeballs vacuumed. Hard to know what scientific conclusions to draw from this. Perhaps every time Gooigi takes over, a little more of Luigi slips away, like a fistful of sand falling through your fingers, never to be recovered. But why not pop your theories in the comments? At this year's E3, we had our first proper look at the setting for Luigi's Mansion 3, which is a luxurious hotel. However, this hotel is less the sort of place where you can expect a mint on your pillow, and more the sort of place where a ghost in a bellboy cap will menace you with a baguette. Every floor of the hotel has a different and deeply wacky theme, which might not be great for the guests, but is a great way to keep things fresh, as you progress through the game exploring loads of varied environments. Try to focus on the fun stuff though, because like the Overlook Hotel in Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, this hotel boasts the kind of impossible paranormal geometry designed to shatter a human mind like a snow globe hurled at a wall. For instance, surely no hotel skyscraper has, on one of its floors, an enormous medieval combat arena. I mean, unless by day they fill this coliseum with water and it becomes the pool and spa, but that seems unlikely. Hello. Especially when all the water is needed on floor 8, which houses a five-stage movie production facility and an entire city set floating in a water tank. And that's not to mention the other rooms we've explored so far, which somehow take Luigi up and down many flights of stairs without him ever leaving this floor of the hotel. <laughs> We'd say just take the lift, but all the buttons are missing and must be retrieved from ghosts before you can progress. But you know what they say, never use the elevator in case of a fire, or in the case of an on-fire ghost king. <laughs> and finally, it's been a while since we had a bulky old CRT TV in our living room, but we don't remember them routinely breaking the laws of physics by converting flesh and blood subjects into electrical signals, then teleporting them to other rooms. I wonder what Thomas Edison would say. Probably just a terrified moaning sound as he curled up in the fetal position. In 
must be tough being Mario's brother, living in his large shadow, but Luigi has always carried himself with a calm dignity, at least until something even slightly spooky happens, at which point dignity goes out the window. <laughs> Sure, we've seen flashes of a temper in the past, but Luigi's Mansion 3 looks set to give us the most irate Luigi yet, at least whenever he's locked in combat with ghosts. <laughs> Consider Luigi's brand new slam attack, which is a powerful feature included with the Poltergust G00. Once stunned with the strobulb, the way to catch a ghost is still to engage in a tug of war with your ectoplasmic enemies. <laughs> Now, however, Luigi additionally has access to Slam, a move whose name doesn't really do justice to quite how furiously Luigi whips a helpless ghost back and forth overhead, smashing their incorporeal faces into furniture or other ghosts for massive damage. We'd say it's just an efficient ghost hunting technique, except we've seen Luigi's face when he deploys this move, drawing on what we now see are infinite reserves of pure white-hot rage. <laughs> It's alarming to think what Luigi's newly tapped fury could mean for future games in the Mario universe. At the very least, maybe next time Mario won't drag him along to be a third wheel on what is clearly supposed to be a couple's holiday. Speaking of Luigi's brother, once again Mario needs Luigi's help in Luigi's Mansion 3, the dastardly King Boo having lured the siblings to his haunted hotel. Clearly Mario hasn't learned his lesson from the last two times he was trapped in a painting by this same ghost. But this time it's not just Mario in peril, but a much larger gang, which to us strongly implies that King Boo's portrait capturing powers have become markedly stronger in the intervening years. That's all the Mario gang is becoming somehow even easier to capture, and frankly, how much simpler could kidnapping this lot get at this point? So far, two hapless toads are confirmed victims of King Boo's painting trap, along with Princess Peach, who also will need Luigi's help, but then he does owe Peach a great deal after she saved him during the events of Super Princess Peach. Okay, maybe he doesn't owe her that much. It's likely you'll be rescuing the gang one at a time throughout the game, given how Nintendo has commented that once a captive is freed, they head to a safe camp, quote, and wait. Which sounds spectacularly unhelpful. Come on guys, Luigi has an entire hotel to clear. How about lending a hand? <laughs> Who knows exactly how the mansions and hotels that Luigi explores end up quite so full of ghosts? Are they the souls of Coopers stomped by Mario perhaps? The spectral remains of Toads who died by the thousands in Peach's overseas crusades? We simply don't know, but what's worrying is that the army of almost infinite ghouls at King Boo's disposal are seemingly learning new and advanced battle tactics from beyond the grave. We've seen ghosts wielding weapons and even deploying kinds of shields before, but nothing to match the confident battle tactics of the ghouls in Luigi's Mansion 3, which hide behind gigantic vacuum-defeating shields. <laughs> Luigi's regular poltergust tactics won't work here, but luckily Professor Egad has kept pace in the paranormal arms race, and the poltergust now fires a suction shot that lands a plunger wherever it's pointed. Catch the plunger in your poltergust vortex and tear the shield out of the ghost's semi-opaque arms to render them defenseless, then kill them twice. Just hope that you don't arouse the ire of any of the boss ghosts we've seen so far because they're huge and terrifying. Although, thinking about that suction shot, we may have a theory as to how this boss fight will unfold. <laughs> We don't like to cast aspersions on Luigi's intelligence, but bearing in mind how this third game kicks off, it may be time to ask serious questions about Luigi's fitness for duty. Luigi is tricked into visiting the haunted hotel because he and the gang receive a mysterious invitation to enjoy a luxurious stay in said lodgings, which could be considered an understandable error, but we're just saying if you get to your hotel and this dude is on reception, probably turn right around and get back on the complimentary shuttle bus, we would. Ignoring the signs, however, Luigi and friends end up trapped when things take a paranormal turn. But what's even more disturbing than being trapped in a ghost hotel is that Luigi has made this exact error before. Lest we forget, Luigi ended up embroiled in this ghost war in the first place because he was informed that he had won a mansion in a competition that he didn't even enter. 
and instead of sending that letter straight to the spam folder, walked straight into a trap that not even King Boo thought would work, because surely no one's that stupid. We can only imagine how surprised King Boo must be to have pulled the exact same scam in Luigi's Mansion 3 and bagged not only Luigi, but the whole Mario gang as well. Whoa. It does make us wonder if perhaps Luigi gets his memory wiped after every adventure, but if so, he's reacting way too chill to Polterpup, who we remind you is the ghost of a dead dog. One feature we're happy to see return in Luigi's Mansion 3 is the Scare Scraper multiplayer co-op mode. In this scrappy floor climbing escapade, you and your fellow players must work together to complete challenges that could include taking down a certain number of ghosts, rescuing toads, or ransacking rooms to collect a set amount of cash. With eight players able to take part, Scare Scraper is shaping up to be hilarious multiplayer chaos, and if you can enjoy that for what it is without obsessing over how four Luigis and four Gooigis can coexist in the same space, well, you're doing better than us. Presumably Probably what we're looking at here is some sort of Luigi multiverse, or some pan-dimensional convergence point in which infinite Luigis and their Gooigi counterparts can interact. Then again, the levels in Scarescraper mode are procedurally generated, depending on how many people are playing, so perhaps what we're seeing here is a cruel simulation by a super intelligent AI that's running millions of Luigi scenarios in order to create the perfect ghost super soldier. Or perhaps at this point we should go outside and get some fresh air. <laughs> So those were some of the terrifying implications of Luigi's Mansion 3, a whole lot to unpack and we didn't even get to hypothesising what it means that Luigi's new comms device is based on the famously headache inducing Virtual Boy 3D console. It's called the Virtual Boo you guys, that's adorable. Thanks for watching and let us know what in Luigi's Mansion 3 you can't stop thinking about in the comments, and please consider subscribing if you haven't already for much more. Right, we're off to try and make our own Gooigi, we're thinking Jello plus Uranium plus human blood as a starting point. Bye!